Welcome to another edition of Putterham Times. I'm Justin Lawson, the general manager here at the Brookline Golf Course. We're excited to welcome you to the property today as we highlight several things that have been going on lately. In this video episode, we're gonna talk about the US Open T projects. We're gonna talk about a branding effort and we're gonna talk about some community engagement uh, plans and, and things that have been going on recently and some upcoming events as well as some exciting U.S. Open uh, memorabilia news that we'd like to share with you. So thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoy this video update. Okay, so I want to share some exciting news with you. We have a community engagement plan here at the golf course. And as you've learned over the last year, we've done several events, movie nights on the range, We've also had a, a Brookline Housing Authority event where we bring residents out to the golf course and expose them to the game of golf. But one of our more exciting events is a return of Harvest Fest. It's going to take place on November 5th. We're actually going to have a golf course 5K. So the famous Brookline 5K is actually coming to the golf course as the Harvest Fest 5K. So stay tuned for more updates about Harvest Fest. It's going to be November 5th, 9.30 to 4.00. We're going to have activities for the kids we're going to have bounce houses we're going to have live music we're going to have some of your fall favorites from uh, hemlock grill it's an event that you're not going to want to miss registration will be required we'll have parking on the range and it's going to be an awesome event and additionally the hayride is going to make a return to the brookline golf course so thank you for joining us and, and thank you for being a part of our community engagement plan we hope to see you there You may have seen it recently in the news where we're asking community members to provide feedback on a quick survey about our logo for the golf course. We have three options for you to choose from. We've included a link to our survey here in this newsletter, and we want to hear from you which version that you like the best. A logo is critically important because it is a image that represents the brand's values and philosophies. Here at our golf course, we're, we're protective about our trees, we're protective about the tradition and the history of the golf course and the protection of open space. We hope to hear from you and that gives you the opportunity to participate in this branding process. All right, we're here on the 10th hole. One of the great new additions to our golf course is a set of forward tees. The 10th hole always provided a great challenge for our golfers navigating the blind tee shot. Now we have a, a, a beautiful forward tee that gives our slower swing speed players a clear and a distinct advantage in better enjoyment of this hole. As you can see, the tee box is elevated. It provides a beautiful sight line to the fairway. And this is just to highlight one special tee box, a part of the U.S. Open uh, tee project that is a going to serve the needs of many of our golfers. So we're here on the 12th hole. Today we're actually laying sod on three of our main tee boxes on 12. Part of our U.S. Open tee project doesn't always just include forward tees but also renovation of five existing tee boxes. The 12th hole received a complete rebuild with new drainage, flattening and leveling of the surface and our usable tee space gained by about almost 200% because of the camber and the curvature of the existing tee box. As you can see, they're laying sod down today. Uh, it will take some time for this sod to root, so we're probably gonna be very hesitant and we're about reopening these tee boxes very quickly, because we wanna get the grass rooted and established very well. But as you can see, the enjoyment for the golfers will be a much, much improved here on the 12th tee. So we're here on hole 14. This is another one of our forward tee projects that I am extraordinarily excited about. This forward tee is really positioned for almost all golfers to better enjoy playing this hole. As you can see, it is much more forward and it is much more positioned left on this side of the hole, giving you a unimpeded view of the fairway in the landing zones. I hope during your next round of golf that you take a look at this forward tee and think about what the future holds for this, this hole alone. All right, we're here on 13. I would love to take you on a video tour of all of our forward tees, but I kind of want to let you come out and play another round of golf 
and see all of the additions that we have to offer for you it, once they're grown in. We are here on 13. This is a long, long course carry for most of our golfers to get to the fairway. So this forward tee is really gonna help those with slower swing speeds. That kind of wraps up our tour of the US Open Tee Projects. I mentioned to you about the opportunity for you to own a piece of history. The banners that you saw on the street lights around town during the US Open are actually now on sale. Below in our email, you're gonna find a link that will take you to an opportunity to support local charities and own a piece of history. I encourage you to take a look. Those, those banners were awesome and they would make a great addition to the sports memorabilia collection in your home. Thank you for joining us today and on this video edition of Putterham Times, we hope that you enjoyed this little tour and some other features about what we're doing here at the golf course. Thank you.